everyone. So, <clears throat> yesterday I tried to make two videos of this journal that I'm making for Connie, Commission Journal, Nature and Literature. And um, so, I, the first video went fine, and then the second one I was going along and trying to do, um, like, sorted into all the inserts that I wanted it to be. So I sorted it into five, four, five piles because I had enough paper for five inserts, though only four inserts are going to fit in here. Um, so the fifth insert is just an extra I'm going to give to her. So I did all that, sorted the papers. I put three together and then I realized that after 10 minutes, my camera had turned off. So sadly, I didn't get that, but I thankfully I left one one insert to show you how I put it together at least. And um, when that happens, and I didn't hear it go off. So when number one, I don't hear on my phone, my iPhone, when the beep or the little noise when you turn the camera video on and when it turns off. Um, then I need to check for upgrades and that's what happened and now it's all back to normal but I made um, three of the inserts and I did very similar in all of them I had the pocket of this paper in the middle then on the outside I made sure I put this paper plus one of these beautiful Audubon prints so that I have this one this one and this one and I think this is going to be the front, the first, because of the blue. <clears throat> so that is three, and I figure I have room to squish one more in there. So we will see. And then this is the extra. And I was going to laminate this cover, but um, it's too big, just a tad too big all the way around. So I'm going to sew the insert together. It'll just be like a little extra junk journal kind of the same thing, just a little extra. Because I already had it cut out, so you know, why not? <laughs> so this is the one I haven't put together. <coughs> so I'm just kind of going to show you what I do. So this is going to be the inside because that's the pocket. And then all I do is just kind of separate the papers, like here's all the ones that have lined writing. Here's all the ones that are plain papers. This is some um, tracing paper. Here are papers, oops, kind of with images. Images here. Um, I have papers that are literature. These are the literature papers. Um, I'm going to put that in the image. I'm going to put that with the literature. Here are some small, smaller size ones. I'll just slip in here and there. This is kind of a special, different paper, so I'll put that there. This is uh, vellum, so that can go with the special papers. And then this is going to be the cover right here the top front of it so that stays till the end so then I all I do is I take it the middle the first part the middle of the insert and I just put my finger in it and I hold like this and then I can just um, shove everything in and I just do things that I think whatever is I think is gonna look nice with it so I'm gonna put this here and then I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I think I'll put this on. <clears throat> That's a parchment paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and do, this is just a attendance. And then I'll put this one here. And then I'm going to, I think I'll put this in here. And then we'll take... A line sheet and then that 
that has to go toward the end. It really just depends on what some of these are. Let's go ahead and put this one here because I think it looks good with that yellow. And then over that, I think I'll put this one. And let's see, we need some more of these pages. And let's bring that one up to the top. And look at that, it's crooked. Is it crooked because I cut it crooked? Or did I just fold it crooked? It's really crooked. <laughs> it is crooked. This is the time to fix, oops. Oops. Why are you giving me trouble? To fix any mistakes that you might have. Oh my gosh, Terry. Uh, and it was still crooked. That's terrible. Oh no. That looks straight. Um, this looks straight. Just weird, huh? Let me see. Yeah, now it's straight. Like, man, that was crooked city. Now I'm kind of like, is this going to be crooked too? Yup. <laughs> it's just one of those things. I better start this up here because there. Now we should be okay with the rest of them. You just never know, do you? All right. So let me go back to how I had, I was doing this. And I'm thinking I would like to go like this and then like this, except I want it this way. And then we're gonna put this lovely yellow right here. And then I think I'm gonna put this, um, dictionary page right here and then I'm going to put that's going to go toward the end because it's so big have to be careful with the ones that are going to be really big let's see let's go this and the tree and actually um, put this over the tree like that and then we can do this and this and then I like this music the cover of this music book maybe not yet let's put a few other things first Go like that and then we'll put this and then we'll put the cover of the music book okay and then I would like this one right here Jane Eyre and then we'll put this beautiful piece of eco dyed paper and then I'm going to put uh, Edith Holden and then this one this one this one and then we have this the cover okay so now I'm going to clip this all right and there we have it and the next step with these is um, bigger so see it's gonna fit it's gonna be nice and fat but it's gonna fit but you can see I don't if I tried to put that fifth one in here I think it would just um, damage the spine because it's yeah it's just too it's just too thick so and it's still going to be quite fat after I get all the pockets sewn on. 
So the next step with these type of things is I pick out the pocket, the things for pockets and belly bands and tuck spots, and I um, get all those set up, and then I usually just have a pile of all those things by my sewing machine, and then I just go through and sew in as much, you know, as I want. This is kind of a gruesome picture. You know, I, I hadn't looked at this, but it looks like this blue jay what are they eating? It looks like they stole an egg and opened it, and then it's the other bird's eating it. I don't know. That's kind of... <laughs> I hope not. Sorry, Connie. <laughs> I certainly hope not. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the next step, I think what we're going to do is the cover. So we already have this and this for the back. And this is the new, and I want to pick out... Um, something pretty. Oh my gosh. I oh, love it. Oh man. This is so beautiful. Um, but anyway, there's many types of things here. Oh, this is pretty. I think this for sure. And then, uh, this. Okay, I think these two are going to be perfect. Okay? So let's go with those two. And we are going to measure. Here we go. So we want them kind of like this. And... It looks like we don't have to cut very much off. So the first part is let's cut off. Let's just get this even, okay? And we're going to go in a little bit because we're going to lose some, but I want to lose <coughs> as little as possible. And we're just going to take a tad off of the top and the bottom. Okay, and then I think that will work. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do the same here. We'll just come and do some of this. We'll take a little bit off the top. Probably would help if we did that straight. And we'll take a little bit off the bottom. Okay, let's go like that. Why do I feel like this didn't cut straight? Just a titch because it didn't cut straight. So does that mean I am now off here? No. So the rest of this should be fine. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's so cute. I'm thinking if this was going to be the first one, um, that this probably should be here because that doesn't go well unless I could do this and then this would go well or yeah because you know I want that there and I want the birds on the back so yeah that's that's fine Somebody sending me some weird text message. I don't know how I get those from people I don't even know. I swear there's still something. They're still not perfectly straight. What the heck? Why am I having trouble with this? It's kind of annoying. Oh, because I didn't get this one straight either. Hmm... Yeah, I really didn't. 
goodness, goodness, goodness. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my cutting abilities. Uh, I don't usually have so much trouble. And this one is not perfectly straight either. <laughs> so I'm just going to double check because obviously I'm off just a titch and I notice it. So if I notice it, then that means I need to correct it. Because if it's bothering me. Oh, come on, seriously. Okay. All right. Oh, it's being a pain. Okay. Okay, so this is what's going to be happening here and here. And I'm going to go over. This fits here. I just feel like I should take a little bit off of this. Let's see here. Okay. And then the next thing is to find the, because I'm going to be stitching right through, but I want, I need um, the papers that are going to go, there's going to be a paper here. So that's what I need to find. So let me go in my sheets. And I don't think it's going to be from the memorandum piece unless possibly this one. I don't know. Not sure. It does look pretty cool though, doesn't it? You know what? I think it will work. So let's just take a piece of this beautiful stuff. <laughs> And let's cut this to the size that we need. So, first things first, we need to straighten up this. All right, and I'm really feeling like this is what I want. And uh, it usually helps to do a little measuring. So if I go an inch on each side, I want three and a half inches. So that would be right here. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mark uh, where it needs to be cut off and black ink because it's not working with pen, pencil. All right. Okay, so we're going to take that off right here. All right, now let's see if this is correct. Okay, all right. So, if this one is here and this one is here, now if I did this, so this is now how to do this part. I either do it like that or I do it like this right here. And I think this is the best, but I'm trimming that off because I, I don't want that white showing. So let's just trim it off. And I gotta remember I have the holes, so I'm gonna work on that. Um, Connie, I don't know if you liked I think I'm gonna let some of the edging show on the bottom and top. I don't know if you liked um, what I did with the Christmas one. Um, if you saw what I did, I did the hitch post and that pretty lace that you could just adjust that lace piece as depending on how thick your book got. Um, I don't know if you liked that, but I thought 
I thought it looked um, good to do that. And so if you like that type of closure, so look at the Christmas one I just did. And um, if you like that type of closure, I'm gonna do this, because there's gonna be pockets. Could you please let me know? And I can do that, because I, I actually am thinking of switching to that type of closure with my books, because now that I did it, I really like it. I decided this doesn't matter, um, because, Um, I'm gonna let the top and the bottom doesn't matter because there's gonna be a pocket so it won't matter <laughs> just want to make sure okay so if we do this let's see this is gonna be here this is gonna be here we're gonna let a tiny bit of blue show or not no not and then I'm gonna do the pockets I'm thinking the pocket, we're going to have to think about the pocket because I'm not sure what to do for the pocket, but there will be a pocket here that will cover that up and you won't see it. Now, what I want to do, let's look at my time, oh, I can't, don't know how long I've been taping, 21 minutes, okay is I want to get the glue. So the first thing is we're going to glue this down. So, let's just get the edge. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to make sure that this is well glued. And really, I think it's good for it to, I'm going to do it right in here. Just because I feel like it will give some strength. Oops, oops, <laughs> strength to this. And we'll just do a little bit right here as well. It's not like it's not gonna have it, but I just like anything extra you can do because you want it strong. Don't wanna have to worry about it coming up. Okay, good, that should be just fine. We're bringing it right here, okay? And I'm gonna grab my roller and do this first, okay? Yeah, if you have a brayer of any sort or a roller like this, um, I would suggest you use it when you're doing anything like this because I really feel it strengthens what you're doing so that you don't have to worry about it. So now when I bring this up, this is important to get my book this. I just feel like I need to make that. So I'm just going to go like this because I want that to be. So any leftover glue you can just, with this Fabri-Tac type stuff, you can just rub it off. comes right off. Any extra. Don't have to worry about it. But yeah, just be sure your book is gonna fold really nice right here and right here. And if you have some stuff happening, you can fix it. This is the time to take care of it. Okay, so now the next step is going to be putting these on. <clears throat> and I 
can see that I'm going to do it here. And then I'm just going to do the bottom edge of the pay, pay, picture. Just because um, at least this much, because flipping over can kind of get messy. So I don't, I want to do some of it. Um, so here's this edge at the far edge. So let's just. So when I use the roller on this, it's going to make it so that it goes down right to the edge and it should be absolutely no problem. I just like to be safe <laughs> with any of this and make sure we have plenty of glue. Just think it's super important. So you can just lay that where you're going to put it. Um, for me, it's going to be right there. Okay. And then I'm just going to press that down so that it's nice, perfect. There we go. Actually, you're not even going to see that middle paper. I just, so I don't know why I fussed about it. You're going to see a little bit of it, I guess, but you're not going to see very much. So, yeah. <laughs> Didn't need to worry so much about that. But the main thing is just get this well situated so that you don't have to worry about it. And I rub off any of that extra glue. I think it's turning out super nice. I'm really liking this. It's so pretty. And I want to get the pockets in too. So I have to think about the pockets. Okay, so we're gonna go right about here and right about here. Okay, and let's just do this again. And we'll go up here a little bit. And then we're going to, once again, oh, it's gonna be here. Okay, just do this like this so that you've got a nice amount on your edges. It's very important. Just like to Make sure it's going to be good. Don't want any issues. Seriously, don't want issues. All right, so let's just put this down right there. There we go. Get it right up here. Like I said, don't worry about that glue. That comes off without any problem. You wanna just be sure you have this down. That's what's important. It's not going to come up on you. So I'll just go, I'll make sure my edges are cleaned up. Okay. Just make sure there's nothing here. Oh, it is a dreary day outside, you guys. It is dreary. It is so rainy. <laughs> we did go out to church this morning, but um, my husband's out ge geocaching. But I was like, I'm staying home in my craft room. <laughs> 
and I'm going to have a cup of coffee <laughs> when I've got this video done and I'm downloading it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think it turned out really nice. I like it. So then the next thing is you probably, um, you do want to repunch the hole. So I'm going to go in over this lace now that, I, oh, this was a hard one. I forgot how difficult this one was. Whew. Ooh, did you hear that pop? <laughs> oh my gosh, wowzers. Okay, so that's good. So that'll fit that, the eye, that piece should fit super well there. And then we want to get this one. So that's this one down here. I'm going to, can't see anything because I've got this there. Had some stuck in there. So we're gonna re-punch this hole. So now we have our two holes punched. And it did make it pretty raggedy here. This is, you know, this is just part of the process, unfortunately. I kind of hurt the, my paper. I'm sorry about that. But, oh well. I would have liked that to have turned out a little nicer. Let's see if I can help it a little. I'm going to see if I can salvage this at all. Come on. At least so it's, I can get it up a little bit better looking. Nope, it's not going to do it. Actually, yeah, I can get it. I can get most of it fixed. So it won't look too, as horrible as I thought it was going to. But yeah, that's just the thing. When you're punching something thick like that, sometimes there's just, you know, you just have to make the best of it. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay. I think actually that's probably as good as it's going to get. Definitely better than I had it. <laughs> and there will be a piece here. So that will help. So if we put in like the hitch, let's just get that in there so we can see <clears throat> what it's going to look like. And I am thinking the silver hitch is probably the best. Okay, so this is where this goes here. Okay. And then it's supposed to go if you have things that are in the way, you have to move them. Okay. Whew, that actually worked. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, so there's the hitch, okay? And then what will go here, I'm not going to do it right now, but what will go here, and that this we have for that, all right? And I'll just see what else I can do here to make that look a little better. And then we'll have an eyelet in here, grommet. <clears throat> okay, so then the next thing is really pockets. And yes, I had kind of looked at this because, you know, if you can get some of that literature sense in here, that's probably good. 
So let's do a little bit of trimming and let me see if there is what we can do to make this work. All right. <clears throat> so we could have this because then we're doing the play on both the writing. There's also this. This is really nice too. Let's do this. Okay. I have to say I kind of like this because of the blue in here. So I would bring my pocket from here to here, so I would cut right before that line. Let me see. Yeah, that's the right size for the pocket. So that's that pocket, and then I probably, I'm gonna sew a little trim. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am just having a day, aren't I? All right, stay down, you. Okay. All right. Okay, so, and then on this, that's this one, and this actually is best, I think, for this side, unless I just do this. I really like this. So let's see. We're going to trim off. All right. And then we have to trim the right. Make sure it's the same size as the other one. Because we don't want them to be different sizes. All right. Okay, so this one, this one goes like this. This one is going to go like that. I really like that. I think, I think that works really well. And then I have things I can use for belly bands and such. Okay, so this is really simple. Um, all we have to do is... <clears throat> Clean that off. Let me see. There's a piece of paper I can clean off my glue without getting glue all over me. It's the whole idea. Okay, so this is the top, so I'm going to hold that so that I don't put this glue on there. All right, just want to put a nice bead of glue and make sure we take off that little string that found its way on there because I don't want that on there. Okay, so now just bring it here. I lay it where I want it, which is right here, and just kind of press Press that down a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and do this. We just want to make sure it's just giving it that extra little push. I'm going to be peeling glue off my hands. <laughs> gives a good, um, because it's nature and literature, then the inside, um, you've got a mix of both, and I think that that is really good. 
there. I think we have it. Lovely. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Now we'll do this one. Do the same thing. I can hear the birds chirping outside. They must be happy with the rain. Got a bunch of pine trees um, at the other end of the courtyard here. Just a row of like cedars, like five, and I can hear the birds. There's a bunch of birds in there. And you can hear them chirping away very happily, I must say. <laughs> ah. All right, so we'll just lay that down as well, exactly where we want it, and just press a little bit. I'm gonna cap my glue real quick before I finish. So yeah, give that a little press. Yeah, so generally what I do, once I've got the cover done, let's do this. Once I have the cover done, then I work on all the pots, sewing all the pockets, belly bands, and tuck spots in the journal. And then after I've done that, I sew the signatures into the book and then after I do that I make the journaling cards and then I make any little embellishments that I'm gonna have because I'll have embellishments like um, little fabric embellishments um, some envelopes and bags different things like that that I put in and so I get those done and put those in, and um, then I get all the pockets and tuck spots filled that I've got journaling cards for, and that's where I leave it. And that's what I do. It's time to clean this glass. <laughs> it is so messy. And usually when I'm working on stuff is when I realize how messy things have gotten. I'm sitting here cleaning my table off and everything else. But I just take a wet wipe and kind of go and clean all of this up. And then it's all pretty and nice again. Because <laughs> I do tend to get glue on stuff. I'll tell you, this, when I bought this long ago, this board, this glass uh, pad or plate or I don't know what it's called, um, I bought it for scrapbooking and then I didn't use it and then I got the idea that you know what this would look so good this would work really well on to put like uh, underneath uh, do my scrap my video on top of for any of my journaling stuff that I video and I had to take the little foot thingies off because there's little rubber foot thingies because it just kind of rocked and made noise. And um, now I really enjoy using it. And there's a lot out there. Um, this one is Tonic Studios. And I really, really like it. I would guess that you could do any water-based mixed media mixing on top of this because it would like come off. You'd be able to wipe it off like finding all these little things here's a little piece of paint <laughs> um yeah and it cleans up so nice and it always looks good so yeah i always like it so there we go i have got so many bits and pieces of paper on the floor everywhere just everywhere okay so let's just uh, let me just dry it a little bit before I put anything on top of here again. All right. So there we go. We have the cover, and I'll be stitching through here the stitches. 
Um, yeah, it's a really old book. Literature in Western Man is the name of the book cover. So even the book itself is perfect. <laughs> so I'll be using a blue blue yarn for here, and, or embroidery floss. And then we have, if I stick with the hitch post, I just have to figure out, I'm gonna have to fix. Maybe I'll put a little tiny bit of blue ribbon down here just to fix this because I, I can't leave this looking so messy. It's bugging me. So I'll put a little thin, thin piece of ribbon right down here and that will make it look very nice because <laughs> otherwise it's just too messy and I don't like that. I don't think <laughs> that's not the kind of work I want to do. So yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, and I have some thin ribbon. I have this royally bluish, royal blue ribbon. Just a very blue, blue, blue. And um, I got some others. That's just a spare piece that I happen to have. Um, I have a lilac. Ew, you know. Wow. That's actually, that's actually prettier than this. But see, this will bring out the blue. And this is a little thinner. So let's do this. We got time. And I do kind of want to get this fixed. I don't like having it because it's bothering me so much. I want to get it fixed. So let's. Just do a nice little thing of glue. Okay. All right, let's see how this works, guys. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay. Just like this. I can trim it once I... Oh, I think this is perfect. Oh yeah. Just look how nice that's gonna make this look. Really pretty. Really pretty. Yeah. How's that? That makes a huge, huge difference. Um, and now that I did that... <laughs> Do you feel like I need to do something here too, like that? It's just like, man, I did that one, so now should I do this one? I don't know. I think I should. All right, we're just gonna leave that sitting there. That's pretty fluorescent. Let me just check my box. things mixed up I think. I was thinking I had some pink pink ribbon but I may have used it all. Oh here it is. Oh gosh. Yeah and that's not wrinkled whereas the other one's all wrinkled so let's do that one. All right we got this one beautiful. So now we're going to do this one. And I'm probably not going to put a grommet on here. I'm just going to use the hole because the thickness of this book, it's just too thick. I can't get the thing through to make the grommet. So I am just going to put string the lace right through there because the grommet just it's just not gonna work. I might be able to get one, but I won't be able to get like one on top, but I wouldn't be able to get it on the bottom and it wouldn't look it wouldn't look good. And we want it to look good, don't we? 
Yep. There. I think that's nice. Then it kind of evens up the two sides. So I think that that is going to be perfect. Okay, so here we go. We have that one. And then we have this one. And trim it on both ends. Okay. There you go, the blue. And we want to trim this right here. Okay. And we're going to trim this one right there. Oh, I'm super happy with this. I think that was the total answer to this inside cover. So there we go. The cover is done inside and out. I'm pretty happy. Oops. Got things falling out of this box. I'm pretty happy with the total, the overall look of it. So yeah, we got the signatures figured out what all cut and figured out what goes with what. So now it's time to for me to work on um, the embellishment, like the additions onto the signature that I have to sew on, because that's the next thing. But yeah, I'm thinking this is turning out really lovely, and I'm I'm really happy with it. And Connie, let me know what you think. You know, if you're happy with how it's looking, and I think it's um, I think it's going to turn out really nice. Pretty pleased with this part. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was helpful. I'm going on 50, 52 minutes here, so it's time to be done. All right, bye everyone.